Hello everyone, my name is Trainer Sully and in today's episode we are going to be opening up a tag team tin. To be a matter of fact, it is going to be this Venusaur Celebi tin. I'm excited to open up this one with you all. Before we get into that though, be sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get right into it. Here is the close up look at the tin and then you have that beautiful reflection of my face. So tag team Venusaur and Celebi. That's the tin that we're opening up today. I'm excited about it. The thing also to mention about this specific tin is it came in kind of a series. There's the Snorlax and Eevee. I do have this one. There's the Venusaur and Celebi. You can all tell I obviously have that one. And then we have the Zekrom and Pikachu. This is the only tin I currently don't have out of these three. I really do want the Zekrom and Pikachu one. I thought I was actually ordering that one and the Snorlax and Eevee one. I ordered it off Amazon and I didn't see that it said multi at the end, which basically means it could have sent you any of these three. So I'm kind of glad I didn't get two Snorlax ones only because I wanted to get one of each. So I did get the Venusaur and Celebi one, but we still don't have the Zekrom and Pikachu. So this is still a tin that I do need to pick up and I do want to open up with you all. What's included in the specific tin, one of three foil tag team GX ones, which is this one which we will get a closer look up of later and then we also have the four pokemon tcg booster packs a gx maker and a code card as well so let me cut this open we can get into this tin i have yet to open up any of them i have not opened up the snorlax yet i have done the giratina garchomp tin can't remember when i did that one specifically but we have opened up that one so we're peeling the plastic off. Also, this is your first card opening or tin or collection box, whatever the kind of Pokemon opening is on my channel. We do have the Shiny Rayquaza in the back. So the card holder, whatever is the best current pull that we have, will sit there. We got this from the Ultra Premium, or it was the Super Ultra Premium collection of Hidden Fates that includes this, this actual playmat as well, and then 15 packs. Go check that episode out after this if you have not already and you like Hidden Fates. So, Venusaur and Celebi Tin. Inside of here, let's get everything out. Wow, the whole... Pl I've never seen the plastic like come out that easily. Usually the promo card piece comes up and then everything else as well. This has a team-up pack in it. Oh, very nice. Now let's see if we can get this off. Boom. So we're able to get that off code card over there the Venusaur and Celebi it looks a little off center from top to bottom top being a little bit more than the bottom beautiful card there definitely off center top to bottom and a little bit bigger on the right than the left but overall very nice card let's sleeve that up and put that in the card holder boom it's there perfect now as far as what else we have we have the GX Tag Team Metal Coin Flipper, whatever you want to call it. Very nice as well. We have the packs. Team Up. Team Up. Forbidden Light and Evolutions. So this is actually an epic freaking tin, and I'll tell you why. One, Evolutions is underrated, and it has been for years. And it's finally starting to pick up. I think booster boxes are like around the 150 to 170 range right now when i got back into the hobby in may they were still 99 bucks like no joke you could pick them up for that so they're finally picking up after four long years of evolutions i've never opened up a forbidden light pack not that i can remember maybe from some weird tin but i seriously don't ever remember opening up forbidden light or even seeing that writing team up expensive sun and moon pack i think it came out february 2019 really went up in value booster boxes last year when it came out 100 bucks 95 bucks somewhere around there now they're like 300 so really awesome set hope we can pull something cool from this specifically so as far as which packs we're going to open and in what order i think venus and celibate we should save that for last obviously that is the big theme so we'll start with the team up We'll end with a team up. Let's do team up, evolutions, forbidden light, and then the last team up. Getting into the first pack, we have the Gengar and Mimikyu. 
I'm excited for team up packs. I don't think in the other tin that I opened for the tag team tin, the Giratina and Garchomp, there was actually two team up packs. I think there was only one. So three cards from the back. Let's see what we're going to be able to get out of this. I have not opened up a lot of team up. My guess in total is it's under, I'd say, my guess is under five packs of team up I've actually opened. Maybe 10, but I truly think it's under five. So we have a Flaffy, Ammonite, Tauros. Tauros is a really weird mouth artwork there on that one. We have a Charmander, a Staryu. I think this Staryu is also in Hidden Fates, if I'm not mistaken, like that artwork. Litten, Zora, Weedle, the reverse, and a mock non holographic. That is a rough looking muck to say the least that is probably one of my least favorite muck artworks i have ever seen so i'm not gonna lie first team up pack lame it's a lame pack to start with as far as what we actually pulled a lot more potential in team up so hopefully the reason we saved celebi and venusaur's team up pack for last was a reason now let's get into the evolutions 10 <laughs> evolutions 10 evolutions booster pack See what we can uh, get in this one the pull we would want would be really any charizard but we will see if we are going to be able to get that so we have the slow bro spirit link super potion charmeleon is that a sign voltorb charmander diglet ghastly caterpie reverse drowsy and an electro non-holographic so first two packs, no hits. We've gotten two reverses, obviously. Nothing too crazy. Forbidden Light. I can honestly say I know very little, if not nothing, about this set. So there's Zygarde, Whitetail, Greninja, Lucario, Necromancer. 2018 this set came out in. I can't think I've actually opened up ever a pack of this. It's a strange sun and moon pack that I have not opened as far as set wise. One, two, three cards from the back. Starting this off. Ultra space. Let's get that in focus. Do you want to focus? There you go. Ultra space. Breaks in. Krogonk. Froki. Oh, this Pokemon does not sit well with me for some reason. Why is it not a grass type? Gibble. Clauncher. Beast energy. Wow, that's epic. And, oh, yo, and we get the Whitetail GX. This is epic, Poles. I love this prism. I love the cards with the prism. I think this is an incredible just way they did these cards and the black borders change it up from the yellow like such a contrast i wish they did more black borders because i think it looks incredible that they have that the way it is the white tail's a little off center top to bottom and left to right and the back would agree right to left top to bottom or bottom to top awesome card wow this beast energy I actually like this better than the Whitetail GX. So let's put that Beast Energy there. Wow, what a pull. That is sick. And I obviously do not have that card. I barely, I don't think I have any cards from uh, Forbidden Light. But wow, that's a sick, sick artwork. I, I, wish, I wish they'd bring back more Black Border cards. Or <laughs> I hope they do it more in the sword and shield sets that are to come i cannot get over how epic that card looks and what a change up to go to a black border usually yellow so we have our last team up pack venusaur and celebi venusaur celebi celebi and venusaur let's see if we can make something happen can we get an epic pull out of this pack right now we want a tag team card tag team team up we want it all Will we be able to get it? That is the true question. One, two, three cards from the back. We have the Lavender Town Trainer card. 
Nidorino, Dangerous Drill, Grimer, Execute, Larvitar, Cool Meowth artwork, Nidoran, very nice Nidoran artwork, Hone Edge, and non-holographic. So we got one hit out of four packs, two team-ups, total busts as far as packs go for the team-ups. Let's go through all the hits we did get. Going through these, we have the Ingo and Emmett trainer card reverse. We have the Drowsy reverse, Hone Edge reverse, the Incredible Beast Energy, I think was the best pull out of this entire tin, the Ytel GX, then the Celebi in Venusaur GX promo card as well. Overall, not horrible because of this Beast Energy. I've opened up tins where we have got no hits at all. So one out of four, not great, but still glad we were able to pick up this. We got a GX, got an awesome promo card, and we were able to open up the tin together. I appreciate you all for watching. Down in the description are my social media links on Instagram. I am doing daily pack openings, daily code giveaways, as well as a giveaway going on right now. Now you have to listen up closely here for this one. If you're watching when I initially post this video, it is for Hidden Fates, Champion's Path, and more. The cutoff for entry in the giveaway ends in a few hours. If this video goes up at the right time, around 10 a.m., you'll have about seven hours to enter in the giveaway if you have not already. So be sure to do that so you have a chance to win some of those awesome things that are in there. All the details are on my Instagram. Go check it out. Also, if you have not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you all in the next episode.